in this new world. Good job. Good job. Good job. I guess. Something tells me I have to go see the new Spider-Verse movie. And then I shall. This is actually kind of... Okay. That was weird. So guys, if you're wondering what this little corner thing is right here, it is an editing app I use. I thought I'd give it a shout out. So if you want to edit your videos like how I do or edit any sort of videos, you figure it out. InShot is probably one of the easiest editing apps I have ever used and it is so awesome. So if you'd like to do it, I have the link in the description. So if you want to download it, um, it has really good editing stuff. For InShot Pro, you do have to pay a lot of money for Um I don't pay for it um, because it comes with so much things when you don't pay for it. But it is better quality, better editing software when you do $6.99 a month, I think it is. Um, so it's not that bad. It's a great app, and I highly recommend it. So just so you guys know, um, link in the description. All right, let's get to see this movie. Okay. I forgot to mention one thing before we start seeing the movie. I'm going to actually go with a friend, um, and we're going to buy a Spider-Man mask, and we're going to try the, at the end of this video, I didn't get any answers from you guys, not that I know of at least, um, I can check again. Okay, no, I did not have any answers. Um, it was asking you guys, viewers, if I should try the Spider-Man Whopper or not, yes or no. I'm kind of curious, so we're going to do that. It's probably going to taste like a regular Whopper, and I heard it when they, Burger King released the black cheeseburger for Halloween, it turned your shit green. And man, if my shit is turning colors, it's going to be fucking pumpkin, man. That shit's going to be lit, <laughs> literally. <laughs> That's so bad. But yes, yeah, so we're going to try the Spider-Verse Whoppers after. Um... I'm gonna let you do, guys know, I do own the first Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movie. <sighs> you guys are gonna hate me for this, but the movie is fucking overrated. What the hell? Are you kidding? It's an anim it's a great animated film. I will say that, okay? Um, but I feel like ever since that movie came out, everyone's just been over-fucking-hyping it, and it's overrated. It literally is, just like The Dark Knight is. I'm gonna get comments. <laughs> I'm just, I'm telling I'm gonna get comments. Um, uh, now, I absolutely think Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a phenom- It's a great movie. It's a phenomenal, great movie. It's absolutely good. But if you're telling me right now, now don't now keep in mind this is not from nostalgia at all. But if you're telling me that Spider-Man into uh, into the Spider-Verse is a better movie than Spider-Man 2, 1 and 3, you're you're lying to yourself. I'm sorry, that's not it. And this is not from a nostalgia critic. It is not it's not a better movie. I'm sorry. It's definitely one of my top 5 favorites. Okay, it's better than Spider-Man 3. Okay, I'll give you that. Um Due to that one scene in Spider-Man 3. <laughs> okay, other than that, guys, that's just my opinion about the movie. I'm not huge about it. I do think it is a great movie. But I also feel like it got in the way of a lot of animation films. Because, like, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I absolutely love that movie. And now, I feel like every animation movie doesn't get their own time to shine because of this movie. Because people just go... Oh, that's Spider-Verse. That's just like Spider-Verse, right? I just don't like that. It's... Animation is animation. Animation is... Whatever you can make it. It's not the same. And if you look at it, it's two different... It's two different... It might look similar, but it's two different animation companies. 
Oh, actually, maybe not. Um, but it's two different animations. Push and Boots and The Last Wish and Spider-Man. It's not straight ripped off, off of Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. And I highly disagree with people who say that it is. I'm sorry, guys. This has been a shitty start to the video, probably, for most of you guys. But that is just my opinion. I will say I am actually really excited for this movie. I saw the trailer. Um, I'm most excited to see 2099, Spider-Man 2099. Um, I'm actually... This might be it. This might be the Spider-Man movie that I'm like, okay. And I feel like going into this movie with an open mind, I feel like I might appreciate Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse more. But there's only way, one way to find that out, so let's go to the movie. I changed my shirt for the movie, but I just got a text like a little bit ago saying that my friend not make it I'm trying another friend if not I don't know um, so if you see me in this video with another person you'll know that another person came um, but if you don't it'll just be me but I got my shirt changed and um, since somebody might or might not go with me here's how the video is gonna go I or my friend, if they come, I'm, me or them will be watching the movie. And then afterwards, I'm going to buy some Spider-Man and Spider-Verse stuff, so including the mask that we were going to buy. And instead of going all the way into Green Bay um, for the Spider-Verse Whopper, I'm just going to get it delivered to my house. So, um, yeah. So that's how it's gonna go. Just so you guys know, I'm sorry, it's devastating. I actually, it's, I feel bad for the kid who couldn't come. Um, he had a passing in the family, but that's not my business to tell, but, um, it was somebody's funeral. So, sad, um, shout out to him. Um, he's actually built the Lego Millennium Falcon with me, so, um, shout out like I said to him so uh, take care of yourself um anyway though that's how this video is gonna go I've been this pain inside but I will never be all right I was I'm really fucking annoying sorry sorry guys um I trimmed my uni bro. There was a little bit of hair there. Not anymore though. It's clean. Still regretting shaving this part though. It kind of looks like a pervy. Yeah, you know that pervy stash. I don't know. Um, kind of having troubles actually because I have three Spider-Man shirts. I don't want to wear the blue one because it's kind of ripped at the edge. But um, I had this. No, sorry, that's not the one I had on. Uh, this is the one I had on. I had the one from. I think this is. Yeah, this is Spider-Man No Way Home, which I like that. I also got these really nice fucking jeans here, um, if you guys can see them. I don't know, they're camo, they're really nice. Or am I thinking like PS Spider-Man, because that's PS Spider-Man, like I don't know what fits with these. I'm thinking this one, um, honestly. I do like that one, or maybe, um, <clears throat> I think that gold actually matches this better, so I might, I might just stick with this. Yeah, let's just do that. First deodorant. This is so unnecessary, but. And no, it is not an excuse to show off my body. I don't even like doing that that much. So, bite me. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to let you guys know it was a hard decision on which shirt I should wear. So, hopefully, this was the right choice. Um, I don't know what mask I'm going to buy yet. Um, Spider-Man 2099, that's who I'm most excited to see, so I think I might do that one. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. Is that how girls do it? Hey, guys. I should go like this in the movie theater. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
right through her burrito cheeks. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was bad. Anyway, guys, that is it. Come on. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. There we go. Woo! Okay, guys. So, mm, I just cashed in my check and my job, so I have enough for the movie and a lot of Spider Verse toys and merch. So awesome. And yeah, um, I know a Burger King, it's all the way in Manitowoc though, which is an hour away from here. So, I'm going to try to Manitowoc when I go there and get the chance. So, I um, just wanted to let you guys know that. So, finally, I swear to God, just the last time I want to say it, off to the movie. Okay guys, so I'm at Target right now. And I know I said it was the last time, but... Fucking deal with it. I got a little blush. And a mask. It barely fits me. It's so funny. Alright, guys. I think that guy can let me through. Ow. Well, it's coming from this way. It's coming from your way. Hey. See that top? Oh, yeah. It's not even that tall. I don't have to hit the bridge. Anyway, I got a little mini Spider-Man plushie. Um, main character of this movie. Mm. Put scissors on you. Throw it out. Yeah, carry one in my back pocket. Oh. I'm gonna have to get that out later, but he's cute. I like him. I think he was only like five bucks, so pretty cute. Pretty soft, too. I could fall asleep on this. Then I got a really small ass fucking mask. This thing looks terrible. You guys cannot sail the bridges. Fucking, you're coming around like. Mm. Mm. What do you guys think? It looks kind of small, like I said, but. And then the last thing I got is uh, Funko Pop. No way. I got Spider Woman. No way. Mm hmm. They had Spider Bite, and I was trying to look for a Spider Man 2099. Um, specifically, but they didn't yeah, have one. I see the boat that freaking held me up. So, cool. I am ready to go to the movies. That is for sure. So, let's go see this. Here's what you want to see, though. Car. Yeah. And if you want to see the other thing I got, it's my next video. Store Lemon Thunder. <laughs> Boy, do we got some shit to say. Oh, yeah, and... I got this. Starburst. This is fucking not that great. I'm not gonna lie. It's five out of ten. I can't believe that guy fucking turned on. It's they got some really good deals. And we come to the cinema again. Bum ba ba bum ba ba boom. No, I did not use the same footage as I did last time. Man, what the hell? There's barely any fucking money here. I'm surprised, actually, if I'm being completely honest with you, because the first, this, this surpassed 17 billion dollars. I'll see you, man. Yeah. 
Yo, I got the whole fucking theater to myself. I can't believe it. No way. This is gonna be a cinematic experience. Yeah, that's what's in the bag. But I got my Spider-Man plushie. I'm leaving the theater right now after watching it, and guys, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen. I'm gonna do a little review in a minute. I should have got a poster. I should have, because this movie is amazing. <sighs> that was one of the best movies I've ever seen. I cannot believe I said that, but. Oh my god, this movie did it. I never thought in a million years that they would pull it off. I'll get into that when I'm getting into my spoilers, but guys, this movie, I'm not joking when I tell you this. This movie is phenomenal. I just can't believe it. I literally can't. Um, this movie literally made me appreciate Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I did forget to mention... That, I did watch it um, before I saw the movie. So, I just, with this movie, I, I just felt something different about it. And I felt so many emotions. It was just like a wave of them just through this movie. And I'm not joking you, this movie is so good. I just... I can't believe it. Like, I felt so much emotions. Like I said, I felt I I got teared up one part. I felt that emotion. I for animated characters. I mean, how much can you say that? Like, you don't feel for animated characters that much unless if you're really into them. But it's wow, just wow. I I got teary eyed. There were some scenes where the villain spot. I'll get more into him. When he came, like, I, he was kind of played as a joke for the first part of the movie. And I was like, oh, no, what are they doing? But he's a joke that is taken so seriously towards the end. Because I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Out of the fucking Tobey Maguire trilogy, Andrew Garfield trilogy, and... The Tom Holland trilogy. This the spot is just. I cannot wait till be on the Spider Verse. This is just. Wow, and there was just some times when he was on that screen, man. I was like, <laughs> like I tried to keep it down in the theater. I wanted to start clapping and cheering, but I was I I was just afraid I was gonna get kicked out of the theater. It's honestly this. It was just so good. Oh my god. Also, um, how many Spider-Men were in this movie was just a dream come true. Like, I'm not even joking. And these characters are really well written. Like, Spider-Man 2099? Holy shit. When I heard Oscar Isaac was gonna do his voice, um, I thought, I've never seen Oscar Isaac as a voice actor, but I'm not kidding you, his voice performance, I could just feel the emotion, when 2099, he is menacing, like, he's not a villain, well, <clears throat> mm, I take him as an anti-hero, I do not take him as a villain in this movie, but... Oh my god, guys, when I tell you in his voice, you could feel the rage and you can feel the emotion. It's, I'm not even joking. You really can, and it hits you right here. It's amazing, and I've never had a greater theater experience, man, because there was cameos in this movie I did not expect. 
And when I saw those cameos, I was like, oh my god! And I just, I, I'm so nerding out right now, but I just can't believe it. Like, you guys know I'm, I, I, I'm not a huge, okay, I like Into the Spider-Verse. I think it's overrated. I will say that. But I'm starting to understand now why people like that movie. It What Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse does here is it takes a concept that was a good concept from the first movie and it times it by a hundred percent and just the animation style. And you could, I'm not even joking guys, this is an animation film you will just, you have never seen it before. And I've seen early critics who've reacted to this movie, and I said, okay, I don't really know what they mean by that, but I can kind of explain. What they do is they take different kinds and types of animation, and they just make it into one movie. I mean, there's cartoons, um, like different animated, like anime, right? Anime. Anime is a totally different animation. A different kinds of animations are in here and it's it's phenomenal. They execute it so well and you feel for every one of these characters. Um the only issue is there was so much spider people. Um that's not the issue, but the issue is some of them were kind of underused even though I do kind of expect that cuz there was a hundreds, hundreds of spider people, but that was just so crazy, just seeing all these Spider-Mans, and I was just blown away, and some of the character development, the chemistry between Miles Morales and his mom, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie, his mom's kind of fine for an animated character, now I don't really get hots for animated characters, because I'm not a fucking weirdo, but, ooh, just check out this picture. See what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's, it's, you could just feel that emotion, like I'm saying. Like the, like, the chemistry between Miles Morales and his dad and his mom, it's, those were the scenes I got teary-eyed on because I could just really feel it between both of them. And I just, wow, just wow, this movie is so freaking good. <laughs> I'm fucking blown away. Just, I can't even wrap my head around how good this movie was. <laughs> I can't believe it made me appreciate a into the Spider-Verse a lot more. I almost said across the Spider-Verse, but I'm not kidding. This movie is so much better than Into the Spider-Verse. That's just my opinion. But, wow. And um, another thing is, um, they kind of recap everything, um, which is which I'm okay with. I just think they take too long doing it. Um, yeah, so, um, that's another issue, so a little bit of patient pacing issues, but it's just, you start to forget that, um, when you're in the movie, because you're just so into it, and, yeah, um, another thing is, it's runtime, I, I hate to say this, because this is such a great movie still, it did feel a little dragged on some scenes, uh, but at the end, I was at the edge of my seat, man. I mean, I was like, what the hell is going to happen? Is it going to end right here? Is it going to end on a face shot of um, Miles Morales because you're swinging and stuff? And I'm like, they're not going to end it like this, are they? Because I heard huge cliffhanger. And yes, we'll talk about that when it's spoiler time. But just, I just can't believe how good this movie was. Just unbelievable. Oh my god. And also, um, I like what they did with Gwen Stacy. Um, she was, um, a main focus too 
and she's kind of what ties into um, the Spider Verse and the, um, everything what happens, and it's just executed off so well. So um, this movie is so good. I highly recommend it. I fucking goosebumps. This movie is just great. All right, guys. Spoiler alert ahead. So now I'm going into spoilers. I gotta give them mad respect. Because I never thought in a million years that they'd do it. No. I. They mixed animation with live action. Literally had the guy from Spider-Man Homecoming. The Prowler, or he's supposed to be the Prowler. You see him as the Prowler. And when I saw that, I'm like, dude, that's live action. How did they do that? They just made it go with the animation. And I just seen that done. It was just so satisfying to see. And it, I've had so many laughs in the movie. And that was a part of it. I mean, it, it, it was so cool. Um, more cameos. Um... I don't, um, I don't play video games that much. Um, I saw, there was the Spider-Man PS4 in there, the PS4 suit. If you don't know what that looks like, look it up. I still, I, I was still raising my hand. Like, I was like, yes! And then when they when Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099, is explaining to Miles Morales is, you did this and it's gonna shatter the whole universe and, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice, like, you can see memories, and they said, oh, if Uncle Ben wasn't here, we wouldn't be here either, and you could see Tobey Maguire with Uncle Ben, and you can see, I, I, this is good, I'm gonna get comments for this, Andrew Garfield is my favorite Spider-Man, let me defend him, he got the first one, at least, he got a good script, but he got a shitty he got a shitty deal, and he got a shitty script. I'm telling you, if he was in Spider Man No Way Home and he took Tom Holland's job, best live action Spider Man. Andrew Garfield knows how to handle that emotion, and I've seen it. I we all seen it, but I was kind of wondering if they chose Andrew Garfield Spider Man, I'm gonna flip. And they did. They showed Captain Stacy. And, like, I just felt that emotion. It's like, oh my god. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just thinking that in my head. Because I, I, I was going to cheer. I wanted to stand up so many times in the theater. And just like, just like cheer and clap. But I just couldn't. I, I, I was too afraid I was going to get kicked out. And, um, what else? Um, there was another cameo, um, Spectacular Spider-Man, that animated series. I don't have a soft spot like most people do for that. I've seen it. I do think it's very underrated. Um, so the people who know it, love it, and I loved it. But I'd say this is probably my least favorite cameo, um, which is the Spectacular Spider-Man. And he, I think he, he fucking does it, man. It's so good. Like, he, just with little um, screen time, he just knows how to deal with it. And they, they the, the director just, like, knew how to, like, deal with that character. Only for a certain amount of time. Also, Scarlet Spider. Um, I feel like he's the Spider-Man that needs to be underused. Now, don't hate me for that. I, I do like what they did with Scarlet Spider. <laughs> it was... It was funny. They made him like a brooding, like Spider-Man, like all oh, these memories or whatever. I don't know. It was, he was underused, but it was funny as hell. I'm um, seeing Spider-Woman too. Um, I was kind of weirded out how, why she was pregnant. I was like, okay, that's kind of awkward. Um, you got to also see multiple versions of villains. You saw different kinds of o Dr. Octopuses. Um, forgot to mention, and this is my favorite cameo of all time. I, now this one, I did clap a little bit and I was like, oh, oh, literally the spot when they're explaining his backstory, 
he's going through like multiple universes and he goes and crashes into a Lego universe and I just was like what they brought fucking Legos in this movie and that is epic and I love Legos did you guys know that and I it's so funny that I say that because I literally I literally bought this Lego set I literally bought this Lego set um <laughs> it's just, it was so cool too because it was so funny. Um, um, Spider Man Lego, Spider Man was walking through and the spot was like, oh, 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 not this one. He puts his head back in and it kind of just continues the Lego animation scene. And uh, she's like, beep, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> He's like actually making the sound effect, the Lego. <laughs> and they just, just, wow. And, uh, Another one, actually, probably that's probably my second favorite cameo. The first one, dude, I did not think there, I did not expect that whatsoever. So it was a complete surprise to me when Spot met Mrs. Fucking Chen from Venom. Venom one and Venom let there be carnage, dude. I laughed so hard. I'm like, <laughs> it's just, it was so funny. And Spot's just like looking at her like. You're acting like the, nothing weird has happened like this before. And she has Venom in her and she's just like, just like staring him down. I was like, that's hysterical. That is hysterical. Okay. So that's basically all the cameos that I freaking love, man. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot wait till Beyond the Spider-Verse. It's going to be cinema. Like... No joke. I... <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna go how it ends. So, again, spoilers ahead. So, Miles Morales gets out of um, Miguel O'Hara's sight. So, he goes back to his dimension. But he finds out that's not his dimension. And when he tells his mom in that dimension, then he's Spider-Man. She's like, well, who's Spider-Man? And I was thinking, maybe it's because the spot did something that didn't make her remember it. And then it revealed, like, he's in a different dimension. And um, it it was kind of confusing at first because it was going back and forth. Back and forth because Gwen Stacy was in another universe. He was, She was in his universe and he's in a completely different one where there was no such thing as Spider-Man. So I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. I got to see this. And he, Spider-Man, Miles Morales gets knocked out and you, he wakes up and his uncle Aaron's there and he, he's like, you think I'm the prowler? I'm not. And he throws the glove to a prowler with a kind of like a spider shape on it. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh my God, I bet it's Miles Morales. Is it? Is it? And I'm thinking, he goes... And Miles Morales is tied up. He's like, who are you? And it's Miles Morales as the Prowler. And I'm like, oh my God, what? And now since he's in the wrong universe, Spot came and Miles Morales was like, look, at, if, you, if you don't let me go back to my own universe, everyone's going to die in my universe. And I'm the... the Miles Morales is the Prowler's version. It was like, your father. And I was just like, dude, that is so freaking cold. And it goes back to where Gwen Stacy is. And she gets Peter and elites a new Spider Force under Spider-Man 2099s um, without him knowing. And that's literally the end of the video. Or <laughs> the video. <laughs> the movie. And it says, to be continued. I was like, my jaw just dropped. And I'm like, oh my god. I cannot wait till 2024, man. March is going to be just freaking great. And the spot comes down um, before actually the cliffhanger. And he's just like glitching and stuff. And he's just like about to destroy the world. And oh my god. I just cannot wait till beyond the Spider-Verse, man. I just... Massive respect, though. This is, like, one of the best movies I've ever seen. So, in that case... Ugh. Gotta slick my hair back. Mm. 
Who's ready to try the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse Whopper? I am. Let's do it. Let's go to Burger King, baby. Middle Yulu. So guys, they no longer have the red buns, which is probably the main part, unfortunately, but I just got the meal anyway, so what the fuck, right? It sucks that they don't have the red buns, but whatever. Still the bur spider version now. Oh yeah. So got strong. I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, look at it. They literally got all these stacked up. <laughs> Do not get me in there. All right, let's try this Burger King, guys. So I ate actually half of the portion of the fries before I even came back. Got the Burger King drink. All right. Like I said, they did not have the red bun. So that is unfortunate, but still got the meal. So, oh, they came with a spoon. I don't even know that one. All right, let's try this out. Um, mm. All right. I haven't even had a Whopper, so this is this is new to me. Some pretty good shit. Mm. No, this is amazing. I will be back with the red button. Because then my shit could turn a whole bunch of colors. This is so good. Mm. Alright, I'm going to put that on the side quick. This is the ice cream, I guess. Oh, shit. It's kind of melty. Oh, shit. Damn, they overfilled that. Mm. Hold on a sec, guys. Is it just like a regular? Ice cream? Are these, are these cherries on top? I thought they were in the shape of a spider, if I'm going to be honest. Ooh, All right, let's try it. They're like little nerds. Wow, that is really good. Slaps. Mm. Yeah, that was that was good. Plus, she enjoyed it too. <laughs> mm. 
good meal. Also, if you guys wanted to know, it also came in this wrapping paper, so that's pretty cool. Wish it would have came with the red bun. Ice cream was really good. Yeah. How about we see this movie again? Would you like to know that? Hey, yo, we're seeing the movie again. I got my boy Jesse here. He's driving. Uh, he just gets into an accident, like, right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Gotta just head out collision. Mm. Hey, um, you said we're stopping at Target for him? Uh, we can, yeah. Yeah, do you, do you want a drink? I, I'll, I'll, I'll be willing to try it again. So, sure. earlier in this video, I... It's Star Burst um, Energy Drinks. What? It's bad. It's 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 good but bad at the same time. Like I don't know how to explain it. You just gotta try it. it sounds like a bread sandwich. Bread sandwich. You ever have a bread sandwich? Take a little ketchup, put a little on the bread. You eat it. There's no hot dog. We didn't have enough for hot dogs. It's fucking nasty. Uh, it was. Some bread by itself is like not nasty though. So but. church bread. That's fucking nasty. Church bread. Fuck that. It's, it's like the same type of bread. It's like styrofoam. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Tastes like ten minutes to eat, dude. And then and they have the cheap Just wine that. too. They don't get the good wine. God, I can't wait for like go to church and have like a sacrificial whiskey or something. That'd be great. But no, it's fucking wine. Remember you used to get these in your um, Burger King meals? <laughs> yeah, I seen a video of a guy on an airplane with one of those. And <laughs> BK, have it your way. Can I have a water? <laughs> okay, so how pumped are you for this movie? I'm pretty pumped. This is my second time watching it. I'm telling I'm not gonna spoil anything. All I know is if you're a big Venom fan, have you seen both of the Venom movies? I have not, but I've seen the cliff notes of it. Okay, so you've seen the first one at least? Or basically I've seen second. the cliff notes of the Venom Okay, movies. so you know the important parts, you know the characters and yeah. stuff. I know you're gonna flip sometimes. Like I'm t I'm I'm just saying right now, if it's just us two in the, this theater, when the movie starts, I'm fucking clapping and cheering. This movie wanted me to clap. Clapping. <laughs> that did sound kind of wrong. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean that way. I meant like, <laughs> as in like, clapping like my fucking hands. Uh, yeah. On your cheeks? No, I'm just kidding. I'd love to clap my fucking hands. <laughs> what about the hand I'm looking for? Yeah. Bro, I look musty as hell. I look musty as hell. I, took I should have. I shouldn't have shaved down here. I look. I have that pervy stash now. Hi there, friends. What Hold you on. doing? Let's see if I can do the rock thing or can I raise one eyebrow. Mm, no, I cannot. I can lower one eyebrow to make the other one look like a straight thing. Mm, stay down. Does that count? <laughs> mm, it's kind of higher. I don't know. I got almost a hundred dollars spent, so nice. fuck yeah, this is gonna be. I don't know, bro. We should just fucking waste it. No, I'm just kidding. No, shit, let's not. I may have mugged a midget on the way here. Yeah. What? What? Was he three feet like that one? Dude, okay, so I literally showed him just this video a little bit ago, and this motherfucker, the guy who played Child's Play. In, in Child's Play, like the first Chucky movie. He's like three feet. He's like three foot four inches, and he's going to little kids and asking them to sell naked pictures of themselves. What creep does that? They just try to meet up. <laughs> he tells them to go prone to suck his dick. <laughs> it's terrible. That's just terrible. That's, man, like... It's I fucked don't up. But... It is fucked up. It's... <laughs> And plus, half of those kids are, like, taller than him, too. Like, <laughs> if some little creep that's, like, fucking 80 years old comes up to me and is shorter than me, I'm beating his ass. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck if he's 80 and has a, those oxygen tubes in his nose. He can't prey on kids. He has to prey up to kids. 
<laughs> no bullshit. Uh, but honestly, I'm pretty pumped to see this movie again. I want to see if it's like better the second time. Do you know who the spot is? The what? The spot, the villain in this movie. Uh, he's a Spider-Man. 29 villain. Nine. Oh, you know what, 29. I'm telling you right now, he's a great character. I played the DS version of uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time. I've never played, but I played Spider-Man Edge of Time. Comment if you think that game is underrated. I think it is. I think it's pretty underrated. I think I it is. The DS version. Shattered Dimensions was better, though. I think Call of Duty on the DS is underrated, but hey. You know the Shattered Dimensions Spider-Man one? I kind of want to get it. It's it's actually... Uh, I don't know. If, okay, the graphics, I wouldn't say, are... They're not... Edge of Time is actually a sequel to that one. That's what I've heard. Um, and it definitely looks more realistic. Um, but Shatter's Dimension just looks a little more cartoony. But you do get to, instead of just playing with two Spider-Mans, you, you get to play as a symbiote suit. You get to play as a Spider-Man 299 suit. You get regular Spider-Man, and you get Spider-Man Noir. Noir? Oh, if it was or voiced Noir. by Nick Caged, I'd fuck him up. Okay, a is, little, is Nick Cage a little in this spoiler. Movie? He is. Yes. Briefly, though, he's not even in there. Same with Spider Ham. I was pissed Does he about have a that. Line? Yes, he at least thank has a line. Thank God. I'm just. Oh letting, my God. Okay, thank can, God. I, can I spoil one thing for you? All right, just is it little? Do you like video games? Yeah. Okay. Do you do you like video games enough that if you saw a video game character in the movie, would you like? I don't want to spoil. Is it the one now. from the PS4 on there? Yeah. 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 I heard about that. Yeah. The fucking PS4 Spider-Man pops up and dude, I didn't even I don't even play the Spider-Man PS4 game. And I was like, yo, what? Bro, I'm not I'm not even joking. This movie's gonna make you. Like, I went in here and with an open mind. I wasn't a huge fan of the first one. I was a fan, but not as fan as everyone else. Like I said, it's overrated in my opinion. I liked it. Into the Spider-Verse? I liked yeah, it. Yeah, I did too. I thought it was a very good animated film. I just when people are fucking putting it up to the dark night. And just go watch those masterpieces, right? <laughs> and go tell me about Into the Spider-Verse. Well, I mean, I have always been more of a Spider-Man fan than like a Batman, but I'm starting to get in more into Batman. Like, same, you know, same. Just, That's why I can't wait to see The Flash. The Flash is just going to be the best Batman movie. I, I personally... Early critics. I heard The Flash from the critics was like good. Was mid. Really? I heard it was mid. I've heard it was really good, actually. Oh, well, there's only one early critic. That's 3C Films. I'll put his link in the description. Very good channel. I watch him a lot. It's where I get my, most of my information and inspiration from. So, um, but um, basically, yeah, uh, he said he, it was mid. Um, I think people are saying it's mid or people say it's really good is because they went to a test screening, I think it was, where the CGI wasn't as good and it's not the final film. <clears throat> Or something. I don't know. It was. I don't know. That must be it or something. But I, I don't know. I don't really like Ezra Miller as an actor. Well, not as an actor. I think he's just a weird person. He is. He is. Um, now, I now the, with that controversy. I not. I just try to ignore it. Um, I heard that from early critics that it's one of his best performances. So and yeah, he is a kind of a weirdo. I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, I think yeah. if. I wish they got the one from the show to do it, I think. Okay, this is going to be controversial, but I actually am a person who likes Ezra Miller's Flash more than Grant Gustin. I do think Grant Gustin does so good as the Flash in the TV show, but... I think he does very good. I think he absolutely. just has, like, as the seasons go on, he got worse and worse writing. Which... Yeah, but he's the one that carried the whole show together. That's why he, people were watching it, because yeah. of him, so... Otherwise, I didn't actually not like the show. I did not like the show Arrow. Uh, I haven't really watched Arrow. I, I I didn't either. I just never I heard, got into I it. I heard the first like one or two seasons are like good. Yeah, yeah. But it just no. yeah. I, I wanted like, to get into DC Legends tomorrow. But I, I, I tried to a little bit. I actually really looked, did kind of like some episodes because like there's this one guy. He's just like a thief. And he just has like a flamethrower. That's kind of cool. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I forget his name. I think he's funny. I, I, both of them are. There's, there's like, a, like a partner. Whatever. Yeah, he has like the... Captain Cold, I think. Yeah. Or some shit. Yeah. Um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we're also... We gotta, we gotta do a video about that. So he it, thinks that... It's it, it's Agents, top tier. I I gotta watch all of it though beforehand. You gotta. It's it's top tier. I think my favorite season would have to be the Ghost Rider one. Coulson 
and like is the best Marvel hero. Like with no powers, he's the best one. Oh, with no powers, I thought you're saying at, of all time. Even even some with powers, he still outmatches them. You're telling me right now though, Black Widow is not better than Phil Coulson. She might have more training, but she doesn't think like Phil. Okay. Um... Coulson always outsmarts people, right? Yeah. He didn't outsmart Loki. He lived, didn't he? <laughs> and he, he did beat him. He did beat him, yeah. but he just died in the process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Whoa. with the destroyer gun in, in the Avengers, he, he fucking beat his ass, but he died. And then he got resurrected. How did he get resurrected again? I forget. Dude, Roger. I'm not gonna lie, the, the lady who plays Quake. Chloe Bennett. Yeah. Fine. Fine, that will be the only reason why I will be watching the show. I really like Ward. Because, like, he's... Grant Ward, the guy who's the octopus guy or whatever? The... You gotta watch the show. Or do you want me to spoil it a little bit? I don't care about that. So, in the beginning, like, it takes place, like, a few months before. Or at least, like, a year before Winter Soldier. So, S.H.I.E.L.D. That makes sense. Is infiltrated by Hydra. And he turns out to be one of their agents. Right. But, as the season goes on, his loyalty is, you know... Is that the guy who kind of manipulated the, in the first season, manipulated everyone and he ended up being a villain at the end, Mm -hmm. right? And yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and he, later in the season. He's such an underrated villain. I think so too, actually. And I I really wish they gave him a better redemption arc, but they kind of did, but didn't. With the, didn't he turn into that octopus guy or whatever too? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I, I, I absolutely do like him. He is a great villain. He's like, actually top tier. Yes, absolutely. In like the MCU. Like, the Red Skull is good. I like the Red Skull because he was, like, you know, cool. Because mm-hmm. he's, like, Hydra. He's, like, actually supposed to be a Nazi Nazi because, like, that's what Hydra is. Nazi yeah. organization. But I also thought, like, during, like, like, if Red Skull turned against, like, the Nazis, did they fight together on, like, open battlefields? Because, like, they had, there was a front in the war. So how did that work? I, I don't know, honestly. I, I, I know there's a game. Shit. There's actually a... Captain America game for like the PS3 called Captain America Super Soldier and it, he like fights like different people during World War II. Do you like the Captain America storylines? Man, I, yeah. I'm not okay. When people say that Guardians of the Galaxy is the best trilogy in the MCU, they are right because it's the best. But however, I do think that Captain America's trilogy, man, is just up there. It has the best storytelling, I'd say, out of all the trilogies. I think Captain America is, like, the thing that holds the entire MCU together. Absolutely, and that's what I was pissed about in Endgame. I guess he got to be with Peggy and all, but... I can appreciate that. Uh, That's a good send-off, I'd say, but I'm just pissed about what they did. That's all. Not that specifically. I'm just saying with the Time Stones and him. I thought Bucky was going to be the new... Yeah, that's what I thought, too, but I actually kind of saw that coming. Uh, I saw that coming, too, but... I think he was better as the, um, just Falcon. I can respect Sam Wilson as a Captain America. However, U.S. Agent? agent yeah, as fucking Captain America. It was cold, but disrespectful. Uh. Like, this scene where he stabs it on the I heard the there's shield, gonna be man. a new, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, series. Well, it's gonna be like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it's gonna be called Agents of S.W.O.R.D. So, S.W.O.R.D. is, like, a department within S.H.I.E.L.D., but it deals with outer space threats. S.H.I.E.L.D. deals with, like, oh, that's earth cool. based ones. I forget that lady, um... Madam Hydra. La- the, who's, uh, from Thor, fucking Dark, Dark World? Uh, Entrantress? No, she's in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for, like, a couple episodes. Oh, Sith. Yeah, Lady Sith, yeah. Yeah, her. Well, guys, we're gonna go see this movie, and, yeah, so we've been talking for 13 minutes now. This video is long as fuck, so if you want to see my review... Just go back in the video. You've probably already seen it if you're with me here. And if you want to see our review, stick to the end of the video. So, peace out. Man, look at fucking Skittles, man. Look at this. I kind of want to try this, man. I'm so curious. It'll probably, t- it'll probably taste like shit like this one did. But whatever. What do you think? Did they not have an orange? They don't have an orange? Oh, yes, you did. You want one? Just don't take one. Skittle.
the fuck is Barbers. Frozen Boomsicle? I'm, I'm gonna try Skittles. Frozen Boomsicle. The fuck is that? I should actually get a cart. I think or like a bay or some shit. I, think I don't know. Bobsicle. Do you want one or not? Uh, you don't got to if you don't want. Okay. Bro, Skittles. Alright, yeah, guys, we made a pit stop at Target. And yeah, we're on our way now. But I guess since for fucks and giggles. Shit, here's your cards. I'll put you. This dude wants some Uno cards or some shit. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I collect blank cards. Yeah. I got a bunch of them at my house that you can have if you want. I still don't know how to play poker and I have a 300 please poker. So I got two more Funko Pops from Spider Man and Across the Spider Verse. Um, wait. Only a Target? Oh, this one must be exclusive. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I got Miles Morales. And Spider Man India. Do you know if the guy who does the voice of this guy is from Deadpool? Oh, Bahut? Yeah! Yes. Yeah! I'm not even joking. He does such a good job. I don't actually like his design, though. I think his design's kind of shitty. I did not get that Skittle soda because I just didn't want to, so. Oh, fuck. Sorry. No, you're good. Not your fault. Not as bad as my foster. Right? Alright, let's go see this fucking movie. Cool seat. You guys. What if we just like beat the bridge going over? <laughs> Jump the bridge. <laughs> Bro, me, I would. When I went to go see this movie um, earlier, um, I was with my foster dad and um, he fucking um, went over the bridge and the cross wires or whatever they're called, the, the cables. The things came down to stop you, and we were about to run those fuckers over, man. I mean, we were like, zoom! Fucking out of there. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, guys? We just came back from seated. Second time. So, okay, this guy rated it a 7.5 out of 10. So. We're gonna talk more in the car and see our kind of our review. So tough for a reason. <laughs> well, we're this on shit's camera going now, so it just cut it. You guys want something from McDonald's? No, 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 no. Okay, so get this. I'm in the bathroom. We're we're in the bathroom. We're kind of TMI, but we're in the bathroom. We're leaving from the movie, and we're just pissing. And, uh, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> this dude fucking blows his ass right in the fucking bathroom and I'm sitting there well yo what it was a little too <laughs> cute too <laughs> no I'm just fucking alright so what did you think of the movie me yeah yeah turn on this fucking light 7.5 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 okay I'm only giving it that because I kind of like cut off in the middle yeah so as you guys know I, I, I said this otherwise I would give it like a 9.5 it, if it didn't cut off in the middle, like resolved itself. Like, I felt like it earned that ending, though, in my opinion. I don't. Just, I don't like sequel bait. Yeah, it's it honestly. I'm not saying it's a bad film. It hooks you great. in the story, though, it, don't it, you it agree? Does. It, like it just that's just I don't know. I thought it was an amazing movie. Like I thought this was this is up. I this this one made me appreciate Into the Spider Verse a lot more. I, I just got tingles. So. Man, though, this, this movie is just absolutely amazing, in my opinion. What do you think of the visuals? The visuals are just... Uh, the visuals I really like because it was like, you know, it's like, like comic book, almost. Right, and seeing it... Just like the first one. Seeing it a second time, like, in theaters, just, I admired the visuals. It was awesome. Um, what do you think of Spider-Man 2099? I fucking love Spider-Man 2099. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even joking. If you guys go see this movie, I'm not even joking. Fucking Miguel, Miguel O'Hara is awesome in this movie. Can you believe fucking Moon Knight voiced him? I can believe it. He did so good too. Like, I didn't, I can't see him as a voice actor, but he did so well. Like, how he was handled, I just felt like he was really good. And then, yeah. So, otherwise, yeah, he thought it was, he was, thought it was an okay movie, so. Top five? Top five movie? Uh, Out of I got a lot of weird movies that are in my top five. I'm talking about Spider-Man movies, like... Spider-Man, but... I... Okay, here's it. Did you the like it Sam better... The Sam Raimi trilogy, I like the most. Did you like it better than Into the Spider-Verse? 
they're a lot more Spider Men, so I can appreciate that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. You think so? I well, like the Spider Verse maybe a tad bit more. Into yeah. The Spider Verse because like that has a conclusion, that is a climax, mm -hmm. and I actually really like Kingpin. Because Kingpin I, was a good villain for it too. But what'd you think of Spot? Spot was, in my opinion, he was great. I wish he was more on screen. I, I Dude. like having uh, quirky villains, but uh, he was quirky. Yeah. Yeah. But he, I wish he had been played a bit more serious. Straight. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Like, are we going? McDonald's right there. We're going to one on the odd cigarettes. Oh shit! All right, yeah, that's fine. Sorry, so we're going to McDonald's and kind of doing a movie review. Um, otherwise, no. I thought the dot was. I when now I when I first watched this movie earlier, um, I I thought, oh no, he's gonna be one of those corky ass villains. They're not gonna handle him all. But I I thought they started off with him corky, and then he kind of just I don't know, kind of like character development into like a really menacing villain. Yeah. Like some of the animation, you could really tell. And he didn't like, talk as much when he was like in that weird form. Yeah. I can appreciate that <laughs> because I like my villains to be like charismatic and like, you know, yeah. evil as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you need a villain too that just doesn't give a fuck, you know, it just does it just cuz. Yeah. What do you think of the Miles Morales villain, the Prowler version? Obviously, with spoilers. I think it was interesting too because I didn't. I I knew they were gonna reveal some big villain, but I also like how. Ooh, shit. Police are there. We're not really. Yeah, lights. Oh shit! That was my fault. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. I I thought that that was really cool. That spots the main villain of the next film, but I just I was so confused at the end. Um, but when they revealed that like, he was in another dimension, it clicked for me. I was like, oh, uh, shit. I, I suspected that. When I yeah. Because I seen on the thing before it teleported him, 42, and I was like, the spider had 42 on it. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then, and I didn't realize it at first, but she said, what happened to your hair? So I was wondering, like, what? But, as yeah. soon as I said that, yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Honestly, Prowler, Miles Morales version looks kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. Is the fucking dreads? No, Dude I've looks menacing. I've never been a dread kind of guy. Never oh. been a dread kind of guy. I can appreciate the. I can. I can respect the people who wear them, but I. I've never been a, more of a dread kind of guy. I just think it made him look. I'm badass. too white to wear dreads. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is going on YouTube, man. I fucking am you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, he's kind of great. Right. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, dreads are kind of more. I, I haven't even got the farmer's tan yet. I heard that if you have um dreads when you're a white person you have to not wash your hair for like fucking months because our hair is different than like African Americans like I'm not trying to be racist at all but that's just how the reality is like they have different hair than us so trust me I know I have a mentor that's black and he does not like me touching his hair so well to be fair I wouldn't like people touching my hair well I don't give a shit well, it depends on the person. Especially if it's I a guess. girl. What do you think of Miles Morales' mom? Bro, fine. Add that little. Exactly, uh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, man, I don't really get attractive cartoon characters. I think that's fucking weird, but man, she different. She different. She pretty good. I'm yeah, not gonna yeah, lie. yeah. Gwen Stacy though, too, man. I didn't realize how thick she was. Yeah. Okay, we're starting. <laughs> this is being a creep show now. <laughs> anyway, we thought it was a good movie. And we might be going to see Rise of the Beast next. So, yeah. Hopefully, look out for that review. Um, appreciate you. Shout out to this guy. Took me to the movie. We watched it together. So, um, yeah. All right. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.